So, this is my 200 watts Dick Jessic Dick Welder <clears throat> with a big chunky WP26 torch. I want something smaller, so I ordered from China this tiny. WP 20F water cool torch and I bought this a little tiny aquarium pot and I bought this protective hose for the water cool torch Let's put it all together and see how it works. I managed to sift the whole thing through. I just put a little plastic bag on top of the torch to make it a bit more slick to fly through the protective hose. And I was thinking about finishing it off here at the end. My first idea was to get a tie wrap around it, but that has some sticking, sticky out parts, so I think at first, I'm going to cover it with, with some black electrical tape, so that's pretty smooth. I can replace it later when I want to get an electric lead through the hose for the switch that I also bought, but I'm not going to start off with the electrical uh, switch. First, see how it welds, so, okay. I've got my system hooked up with some rubber hoses leading to the small aquarium pump and I wanted to plug it in, it's with a US plug and we're in Europe so they had an adapter with the pump but it doesn't really seem to fit in my what what not even with the We we'll get another plug on the hose. Okay, so I got the <coughs> new plug on the pump. And let's see <laughs> if it's leak free. I'm a bit concerned about this thing here. This is just a elastic rubbery hose. One I could find, but we'll see if it leaks, if it pumps. Oh my god, there it goes. Well, it's making some sounds. Hmm. Yeah, I think some water is coming. Uh, it's vibrating a bit. Oh my god! <laughs> ah, I got the return line on the Argon house. <laughs> what? We're getting flow. When is this leaking? Yes, this is leaking a bit. Not too much. This is good for now. Okay, I'll uh, reconnect the hose that I put on the Argon line and uh, see if we can get some wells. Get the hose lamp off of this rubber hose. I think it wasn't doing any good so let's see how it's if it's leaking without the hose lamp. Oh my god. Ah! I hooked up the return line to the Proper side. Nah, this, this is leaking anyway. I uh, do want to see how much flow we get, so I'll get a cup and see how much water it gives. We'll uh, see how much flow we get from the pump 
it's a little raised so it can only go better than it's right now uh, just get the timer going uh, I got it set in a minute so we'll see how much water we get in a minute and there we go Okay, let's see, well it's even more, but roughly say let's we, we got 200 and 220 milliliters, so that's uh, 0.22 liters per minute times 60 makes 13 liters an hour. Wow. I heard some numbers of 4 gallon is enough, 4 gallons in an hour. So 4 times 4.5 is 18 liters. Well, we'll, uh, we'll see. We'll try it at this rate. How uh, hot the water is when it returns. I got the thing hooked up. A number 6 cup. I immediately ordered some, uh, some gas lenses for this this uh, torch but I haven't got one so the biggest lens that came with the kit was six so I got that on I got the uh, cooler pump running it's giving out a little water I couldn't find any uh, thermometers that, uh, that could monitor the temp that was uh, going out so uh, we'll do that in a later stage so just get some welding done see how it uh, how hot the torch gets this thing feels so much lighter than the big 26 torch. We'll see. We'll get a full throttle. Okay. I didn't pay much attention to the welding, but just ah, oh man, it's just nice and cold. This is brilliant. Ruined the tungsten on the first <laughs> first attempt. Just full throttling the full throttling the pedal. But uh, we'll grind it and do some more welding. I think everybody knows this trick, but. Okay, that's how I grind. I noticed on the footage that I was welding around uh, 100 amps and it ruined my tombstone. But uh, we'll uh, see how it goes. Oh, further, I haven't said anything about the cost of this setup. I ordered all of this on uh, AliExpress from China. So, including sending, including uh, delivery costs. I paid 9 euro for the cover, I paid 53 euros for the torch, it was I think 32 for the torch and 20 for the sending, oh and I forget I paid uh, 20 euros on taxes, so uh, and I paid 9 euros for the pump, the rubber hoses I had already laying around in the bucket as well, so that makes a total of 71 euros plus 20 for the tax so that makes a total setup of this water cooled WP 20F torch of 91 euros 91 euros and I'm welding water cooled uh, just make another small bead see how it goes just a little calmer with a minimal, little more time so.
Okay. Let's take a look at the tungsten. Uh, I think I should put a 3.2 in that, but well, the welding went fine. The torch is really cold. Just a little warmer on the back end, but ah, brilliant. I did some uh, searching. I found my thermocouple multimeter, which didn't work uh, f at first, but it turned out to be it was an empty battery. But it's it's running now. I got the hot lead in the return flow, so it measures the temperature of the returning water. I also took a little time to to to, to scrape this uh, scrap this scrap metal clean from its uh, primer so we can really uh, fire up the torch I'll set up my machine if uh, my pedal is set up that if this one is maxed out it simply shows uh, zero on the control just when you weld it uh, goes up so we're going to DC uh, no pulse bit of pre-flow uh, peak is uh, controlled by the foot pedal, basic doesn't matter, down slope, no down slope, just pedal control. No arc force, no frequency doesn't matter, dealing with afterflow, nah, it's, it's just fine. Okay, um, let's weld, let's see how hot the water gets. Welding on the 10 millimeter, oh, I'll, I'll grind my tungsten first. It's still balled up from the aluminium. Okay. That's how I grind. Could have done it a bit sharper but it's... it's <coughs> okay. I figure as long as the water line isn't going to sputter, it's not getting a hundred degrees. It should be fine. I'm flat out on the pedal. It should be 200 amps, but I'll check in a minute on the video. Okay, let's see. 42 degrees on the water. Yeah, it's heating up, but not not really bad. So, nah. Torch is still nice and cool. Brilliant. Okay, I'll check back on the video. See how uh, <coughs> how much amps I pulled. Okay, take two. At my first uh, first bead that I made here. The water tank got uh, up to 42 degrees uh, centigrade. Uh, I uh, was talking during the filming, but you, you probably can't hear it, so uh, I'll just uh, lay another bead and see uh, how hot the temperature will get. It looked as if my machine went flat out to 190 amps, and well, that's, that's it. Here we go. My hands are getting pretty warm uh, right now.
50 degrees. Ah, that's brilliant. That's brilliant. No troubles. See how quickly it drops. We'll check how warm the water is right now in the bucket. I'll pull it out of the lead and... Ah, the water itself is still 20 degrees, so... Perfect. 